What's up, YouTube? I'm with my good friend, Mr. Paul Cantu. Hey, guys. And we are ready to hit the North Tacoma Goodwill. This is the second trip to the thrift, I believe, because we have been thrifting quite a bit. However, these last three days, we have been in hell, aka Eastern Washington, at Paradiso. Getting fucked up! He just got out of the shower, and now about to hit this North Tacoma Goodwill, and then hopefully I can go home and take a shower and bathe this nasty layer of sweat and dirt off of me with my tongue. Disgusting. I've never really been a fan of Fat Farm to be real. However, this Fat Farm fucking t-shirt is so dope. All cut and so black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Dope ass stitching, Fat Farm 92, Fat Farm 92 once again. Then it says below that Loungewear Co. And this thing is fucking dope. However, it is size extra large. It probably won't fit because Fat Farm has the same affliction that FUBU does where extra large is usually two sizes bigger than actual extra large. Okay, so I just tried this Fat Farm jersey on. It is way too big. And now Mr. Paul Cantu, who is a giant, is gonna try this on for you guys live and direct. All right, guys, cue the sex music. I'm in love with a Fat as fuck, motherfucker. What's good? We obese in the streets, 92. Plus one year of my birth. When I came to existence on the earth. Some of my dick, bitch. Bars. For all my skaters out there, here is a plain button up from Enjoy. Here is a clean prison orange Nike jacket. It's got these weird little like scribbles going all around the jacket on the front and the back with these 3M hints on the uh, mid section going all the way around. Pretty dope. Ooh, but the 3M lightweight for the zipper so that way you can see where you are zipping in all hours of the night. We got the vintage Sean John zip up half sleeve jacket. This thing is weird as fuck, but I just thought these patches were kind of cool and I kind of wish I had the patches, but I'm definitely not gonna spend $8.99 for three Sean John patches. These are the only reason this is being shown in this video. Florida Gators. Okay, so he is recording me, recording this, but basically I just found this YSL E Saint Laurent button down. This thing is fucking dope, super sick. I might actually have to get this. I don't know what this little thing is in here. What the fuck? What kind of majestic little pointer is this? I imagine this True is true uh, as fuck. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, is they that got collar oh, support? Oh, damn. Okay. What's good? E Saint Laurent, this bitch. YSL lifestyle. We living it, boy. Jacob Star, hot fashion as fuck. We in here. Yeah, Child so what genius. he said, but pretty dope, long sleeve, size medium, so it should fit me. I'm going to have to try this on for sure. When I say size medium, I mean 15 and a half or 32-33. I really don't know what the differences are, and someone is calling me. So, time to start recording and answer my phone from my mommy. It's kind of funny about watching Paul thrift is like, when he turns on the camera, that's how he justifies or decides whether he's going to buy this or not. Like, he was completely unsure as to whether he was going to cop this piece. And then as soon as he turns on the camera and starts describing it, that's when he makes his decision that he's not going to cop. And just like he's not going to cop this, I am not going to cop this YSL button-up because I do not think it's real. The quality of these, like, collar things, which I don't know the technical term. If you do, you can leave it in the comments below. But the quality of these are really shitty. The quality just isn't quite there, and that's why I'm just kind of questioning the authenticity. And on top of that, there's a little stain, which you might not be able to see in the camera, but it's like a grease stain, and there's no way in hell I'll be able to get that out. All right, guys, check what we got on cock right here. You have Warren Sapp reaching for the balls. Actually, he has one ball reaching for the other right there. He is on my genitalia. Look at that. Oop. It got number 99 on the back, $2. Plane pickup. This guy right here was literally like, oh yeah, we didn't cop anything, we didn't get anything. And I'm going through this guy's footage. I'm not pointing at his dick, I'm pointing at his camera. Anyways, I'm going through this guy's footage, and I'm pointing at both, and I see this, and I'm like, how much was it? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, did you check the price? And he's like, no, I didn't. I was like, this thing's fucking dope. Look at this thing, this thing's fucking sick. And like, even he agreed, it's fucking dope. So then we run back in because they close in about negative three minutes now. It's $4, and he's like, oh, it's four bucks. But it's red tax, so it's actually two dollars. So we caught this for two bucks. What a fucking deal! Hey, thank yeah, you, that's sir. crazy. Yeah, Look at this crazy Seattle man. This thing is so sick. Dang. This. Okay, so I was busy looking at furniture and looking for floral vintage furniture and Mr. Pawkins who came across this dope Tommy Hilfiger jersey. Look at this thing, that embroider right there with the Tommy flag right there. Tommy Sport 85 Hilfiger on the back. This thing is sick. $7.99. 
Definitely a killer deal. This thing is so dope. Look at him. He's so happy. happy man. <laughs> I'm like a kid in the candy store with this thing. This is nuts. Okay, I just found this really dope Philippines polo right here. This thing is size extra large. Look at this embroidery. You got the island right there. Filipinas or whatever. I am Pinoy. Six dollars, five ninety nine. Once again, you got the Filipino sun right there. This thing is sick. Shout out to my bro Wuhooligan. Ralph McFly guy, he's the homie, he does YouTube, he's a really, really cool individual, and he has a cool YouTube channel. Anyways, this is definitely gonna be a cop, this thing is so sick. Yo, what's good? So usually I'm more loud and proud of my fits, but I found this really dope Obey shirt right here. It has the Obey placard on deck. Obey, it's size large, Obey and all the buttons. Really detailed out, really simple, really sexy, but I think this would look really nice on my Chelsea high fashion boots. So what's good with it? Hey, We are out here at St. Vincent de Paul. Today's specials. Let's get it. Okay guys, so I have not been recording much in St. Vincent de Paul. Oh, watch your boy jump off a cliff. Anyways, I did find two items. I found, like I was saying before the sun rudely interrupted my exposure, I found two items. I found this really dope Tommy Hilfiger strap back. As you can see, you got the leather strap right there with Tommy Hilfiger etched into it, and you got the TH for Tommy Hilfiger etched into that metal clasp. Really dope, definitely copping that 99 cents. We also got this really sick painter's uh, cap. Shut your mouth. closing in 20 minutes. Again, the yard closes in 20 minutes. Thank you. Well, now that she shut her mouth. Anyway, Circus Circus, Las Vegas, Reno, whatever. This thing is dope. Look at that top, though. Oh, my goodness. I saw this, and you know your boy is really, really loving pink. I always love pink. I have never been here. The homie Paul actually has been here, and even though this looks super sexy on your boy, I'm going to have to pass it to him because it resonates more with him, and he's actually been to this location. Definitely a dope acquisition, as he would say, for one dollar. Girl Scout cookies are banging! Alright guys, welcome to the thrift recap segment. It's me, Jacob Williams, star with the star life, and my dear friend, Paul Cantu. Bitch. But yes, boys and girls, we're just gonna go ahead and get into all the thrift finds we got in this trip to the thrift video. We hit a million stores, we didn't get that much stuff. JK, we did, let's get into it right now. All right, players, partners, and ballers, the first thing I got are these really sick granny pajamas. These are basically some old women jogger pants in this really sick pinata colorway. These were at a mom and pop thrift shop, and these were definitely a great thrift cop, a buck fitty. Also, at Goodwill, thanks to my great friend Jacob Williams Star's advice, I went ahead and grabbed this sick. Little Raiders Warren Sap t-shirt right here. This is size extra large. I had to go ahead and cop this in 2XL. It is way too big for your boy. So this is going up on our website. Links will be down below, hfv.bigcartel.com. All right, so at St. Vincent de Paul today, I got some hauls. You feel me? Named after your boy back when I was a saint. I got some polo flame right here. I got this size small little polo polo. It's pretty dope. It's gray and whatnot. I also got some polo pants right here just for the logo. I have a really dope project coming soon. Stay tuned. Now, as you guys saw, they had huge bins and boxes outside, and that is where I acquired a bunch of snapback slash hat fire. So, I got this really sick Kamikaze World War II Survivor hat for my gramps. I got this really dope 1998 Conference Champions Atlanta Motherfreaka Falcons hat right here. All types of crazy embroidery. This thing is a bit like cum stained on, but this was just too fire to pass up for a buck. I also got this Dallas Cowboys fitted right here. I usually rock snaps, but once again, I am a Cowboys fan. It is a script, and this thing is hot as hell. So I went ahead and grabbed this guy. I also got the pink Circus Circus Painter's Cap right here with the snaps and side printing on deck. Pink is definitely a color in terms of clothing that has grown on me due to the homie Jacob Starr and Blake Emter out here in Washington. So I definitely am happy to have this on head in the collection. The next two hats I acquired were some flamey little painter's fire right here. This one has like little pants all over it. It says kawaii or whatever that says. Maybe something like Hawaiian. I don't know. Jacob lives in Hawaii so he should know. I don't. Yeah, it's an island in Hawaii. Kawaii? Yeah. It's the Garden Island. And then last but certainly not least, I got this Florida State Seminole really sick plaid snap right hither. This was only a dollar as well, so I had to go ahead and nab this. HFV.BigCartel.com is where this is going to be if you guys would like to acquire this fire. And then also for a dollar at St. Vincent de Paul, I got the KD3s. I think that's what these are. I'm not really sure. I'm not really too up to date on the KD knowledge. Either way, these are pretty dope. They have some major flaws. So whether I fix these or not, we shall see. But for only a dollar, I figured I might as well risk it for the KD biscuit. Woo! And then last but certainly not least, Trill Will came through for the dub. The first thing I got is this Tommy Hilfiger basketball jersey fire. All embroidered, Tommy 85, Hilfiger on the back, Tommy Sport. This thing is detailed out embroidery once again out of this world. 
And then I also got another sick jersey for the site. Once again, check the link down below in order to purchase. I got this really sick size large New York Yankees majestic jersey. This thing is heavily perforated and is very old and vintage, but I went ahead and nabbed this for eight bucks as well. And then last but certainly not least, I got this really sick and simple Obey propaganda shirt right here, really detailed out. Really like interesting coloration. Jacob Star definitely influenced me to get this. I was on the fence. He was like, cop that, sir. So I was like, I, I got you. So that's why I got this really dope piece to have a nice little simple high fashion formal fit. Anyways, for me, I got only a couple items. I actually didn't cop anything until today when we were filming this. I got a couple items. All the other trips to the thrift, I just didn't really find much at a good price point that I really liked. So uh, I got three items today. I'm actually going to start off with the best deal. I don't know why I picked up this dumb bag, but anyways, we got this really dope Tommy Hilfiger strap bag right here. Real simple khaki colorway, Tommy Hilfiger embroidered on the front with the Tommy flag in between. We got this for $1, which is a killer deal. I was super stoked to find this. Definitely a killer deal for the collection. It's Tommy though. The next item I was kind of on the fence about, but I did really want it because I have grown up going to Seattle Mariners games since obviously I am a Washingtonian. But it's this really dope, majestic Seattle Mariners baseball tee. This thing is super sick. It looks absolutely good on me. I love this thing. Paul actually found this, and this is why I was on the fence about it right here, was this button. So he showed me this. He was like, it is missing a button, but, um, you know, it looks so good on me. He was right. Like, I went to the mirror, and I was like, dang, this thing looks amazing. Even if I have to wear it open and just not ever button it up because it's missing a button, it just had to be a cop. But more than likely, I will go uh, rip a button off of another Majestic baseball tee and just uh, sew that mother in there and call it good. And then this piece was definitely a killer deal. Shout out to two of my Filipino friends, Francis Cortez and Ralph McFly guy from Wuhooligan. He's a really dope dude, has a really dope channel. Anyways, this is a dope piece. I love this Filipino polo right here. As you can see, all embroidered right here. You got the islands, and then on the back, you got the Filipino sun. Definitely a dope piece. I got this for $6 once again. So for $13, I caught three really sick items. I was super stoked, and I'm glad that I caught these items towards the end because I didn't really get anything in the earlier trips. So thank you guys so much for watching this random conglomeration of Trip to the Thrift footage. As you guys know, Mr. Paul Kins, who did mention, a lot of these items will be on the hfv.bigcartel.com website. Right now, we are in the process of getting caught up and getting everything posted. So some of these items may not be on the site, but if you want to acquire any of these items, bookmark the website and follow us on Instagram. And when you do that, we will keep you up to date when we actually do post these items. That is the best way to stay up to date. And hopefully in the near future, we will actually have it so the items that we acquire and show off any trips to the thrift are up on the site and ready by the time that we post the video. So if you guys enjoy this random conglomeration of Church of the Thrift footage, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as you guys always do. Keep living the dream, keep eating ice cream, and once again, keep living the star life. And go follow his photography on Instagram because it is bomb as hell and my hey. IG is down below as well. Peace and love out there and we'll catch you guys next time. Bang bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. Plugged in with the shooters in the ceilings for the cane. I feel like crack at the money game.